ever wished you could ask a question to your database and get a clear natural language answer instead of having to dive into complex sql queries what if i told you there is a way you can interact with your data as easily as chatting with a friend let's create the workflow for this first thing we absolutely need before we get started with the workflow building is our database connection so if you have your database ready with all the data set here i've added my host database name username password and also i made sure my port is 4532 and i clicked on save so it said connection tested successfully now you can if you're running your anytime locally you can write local host here or on a self hosted server you can also write server name here in my case i have installed anytime and postgres on my server so just by writing postgres anytime will know what i'm talking about or which database i'm talking about and it will get connected with it my database does not have an external access it only has internal access so anytime will might be able to connect very freely and easily but any external source will not be able to connect to my database now let's start with the workflow i'll create a new workflow yeah and we'll use chat trigger for this so using chat we'll ask questions to our database and ai agent will make sure it gets the information correctly from our database so we'll use chat model which is open ai chat model and for tools we'll need multiple tools of postgres if you are using mysql you can use tools as per your requirement and i will select my postgres anytime work database tool description set automatically operation will be execute query and here we'll need to put in the query now the first thing we'll do is tell our anytime workflow or ai agent that what our database schema looks like so db schema will be the name of this uh, node and for the query we need to put this query which is to get database schema i'll copy this and paste it there yeah i'll also provide this in the description so you guys can just copy paste it and also analyze it if you think you it will help with the mod, uh, if you modify this query again we'll use another postgres ml tool and here i'll add get table schema so what we're doing is we are first getting database schema so that will get us or get the ai agent all the tables that are available in our database now depending on the query or the question we asked the ai agent it will select which table to query and send the request to get the table structure or schema back to ai agent so for that we'll use this query so get table definition and i'll just copy this and paste it there yeah and we have two nodes ready now lastly we'll also need to get data from postgres finally so this will be get queried data okay so this is the most important one which will actually get the data which our ai agent will will use to answer our question so here we'll just write dollar from ai query and that's it so ai agent will send the query maybe select star from table x and it will return the data once ai agent receives the data it will check what the question was and parse the answer or build the answer as per the data that it received like if i were to ask how many clients do i have so it will send the query to 
get query data tool that selects star from clients table and it will return all the clients and ai agent will then say you have 10 clients with the names client a client b client c so that's how a workflow should run and now before we move ahead we need to tell the ai agent what to do I'll, so for that i will need to add this prompt you are a db assistant you will be asked questions in natural language you can use database schema tool to get understanding of the tables available in database and you can fetch table definition using db table schema tool available to you for all the tables that could be containing the relevant data finally run get query data tool to get the data and ask answer in natural language important wrap the table name and column name in double quotes so this will help in postgres a lot in many cases and also very important you need to add today's date to let ai agent know what today's date is so it will query data as per today's date so if you ask it to get you sales data of yesterday or last week it, it will take today's data and then figure out what the last week dates were and then fetch you the data so let's copy this and paste it in our ai agent i'll write system message and you're a helpful db assistant so for this to work we'll need to switch on expressions and our workflow is ready let's test this i'll write give me number of clients i have let's see if this one works and the execution has started this will take a few seconds because a ai agent will ask multiple or send multiple queries to th this three tools one after another and then give us the data so it has returned you currently have three active clients so how did it get this number I'll, it first went to get table schema which returned it all right it for i'm my bad it went to db schema and it returned the table names then it went to get table schema which returned the specific tables which is fin client tables column names and lastly it went to get query data so here it sent the query which gave us the count three so it generated this query ai agent generated this query and sent it to get query data to get us the number so this is how you can chat with your database you can ask any question and you'll get the answer accordingly so this is very helpful if you want to get answers of your data instantly or uh, the query will be written and designed by the ai agent you just need to tell it what data you want and if you have a really complex data you ai agent can still manage it just give the context of your database in system message like if you are data is for a crm or if you are running a, an employee management human resources software or something just give that in the prompt so ai agent will know what database it is dealing with and query accordingly so <clears throat> this is how you can create a workflow and if you like this video if you found it helpful do give us a like subscribe to our channel for more such videos we'll keep posting regularly to give you the best workflows that will help you in your job or in your business if you would like to suggest a workflow for yourself do mention in the comment and we'll see if we can build it in the next video thank you